Alright, and I have come back home to Spiritual Town, because what I am looking for is, in fact, in here, somewhere, supposedly. Oh, look, an item. I like my items. That's Team 53 Energy Ball. This also does remind me that I can go around Unova going and uh, surfing and uh, getting most of the uh, like surfing locations that I wasn't able to before. Let's see, random encounter. Let's see what this is. And this is indeed going to give me a polywag. Oh, polywag. It's also very interestingly uh, not that far off in level from the rest of my team. Um, let's go do that. I'm going to go and use Thief on you. Because that should do. Ooh, ooh. You can use Belladrum. This should put you at very low health. Or it'll just KO you outright. Alright, we have another one here. Um, I'm just going to start chucking Pokeballs at you, because. Uh, now knowing that you have Belly Drum, it's not a move that I'm going to want to keep on the Polywag, mind you, but um, if it does that, it's going to cut its own HP in half. And uh, that's going to be good for catching, increasing your catch rate and stuff like that. Come on. One, two, three. Alright, or we can just catch you at full health and Pokeball. That works too. Uh, I have to think of a nickname now. That's going to be fun. You're the Tadpole Pokemon. Uh, I'm just gonna call you like Brain or Burn Stem or something like that for no reason. I did not mean to do that. Where's the name raider? I'm gonna need to pay a visit to the name raider. All right, while I'm out here exploring stuff, uh, there are a few things in this little pond on Route. What is it, Route 19? That's a water stone, so I can evolve that poly polywag as soon as it evolves into a whatever its next evolution is. This is awful. I can't remember the names of Pokemon. Uh, anyway, there's also this ledge that Alder was a fan of, uh, jumping up on. And, uh, this is a random encounter, apparently. Which is interesting. Not because of a Meryl. Alright, thank you, uh, for that little disturbance. I didn't throw in a repel because I was going to be in the water for such a short amount of time, I was trying to get away without it. But that's Team 31 Brick Break. It's a decently powered fighting type move that will also remove the effect of a reflected light screen, and I think a few other things. Uh, that's it for this little area, though. Next order of business, before I forget, I'm going to deposit this Munchlax, and a, uh, Poliwag can indeed learn Surf. And I'm going to be doing that, because, uh, well, I'm going to probably need to teach it to do it. I'm going to probably need to teach it to it anyway, uh, because it's a decently powered Water-type move. Uh, same type of attack bonus and all that fun stuff, and that's also an HM. Uh, let's get a Hydro Pump. Why do you have Hydro Pump at this level? Oh, well. Uh, Poliwag learns Surf. Anything else I can learn? I don't suppose I can learn Psy Shot, can it? No. Uh, I'm gonna look through this bag of TMs a little bit. Earthquake? Uh, I'm going to evolve it into a, uh, the fighting type. As if I don't already have a fighting type in my team and it's not compatible. Um. Low Sweep. What about Low Sweep over, uh, Wake Up Slap? Because I think Low Sweep is gonna do more damage than Wake Up Slap. No? Alright, well, I'm going to I'm gonna go and give those another look after it evolves. Um, let's see. Route 20. Uh, that happens to be something else that I'm rather interested in when it comes to the water, so I'm going to jump on the back of this, uh, this little tiny tadpole and hope it doesn't collapse under my weight. Come on. Finally! Hello, Dratini. It's been a while since I used one of these on an in-game team. I was just talking recently about, uh, um, like, not using duplicate Pokémon across different runs of Pokémon games on YouTube, but, uh, it's about time. It's been four years since I've used Dratini. I think it's about time I do it again. Um, anyway, this thing has been a pain in the butt to run into. It's, uh, taking me, like, 15, 20 minutes right now of recording, just running back and forth in the water. I actually did have to go and, like, change my, uh, the computer clock on my computer because uh, April is winter and you can't run into these things in the winter, but even still, oh my god. Um, please let's make this easier than you might otherwise, Bertini. One, two, three. No. Oh well, I remember when I did this in a heart gold. I caught a Bertini in the heart gold. Thank you, by the way. Um, I did not actually catch it. I used the Pokewalker to get it. It's kind of interesting, I guess, uh, getting to use the Poke Walker, which is a thing that most people probably would not do. Anyway, maybe this time, your HP is going down bit by bit. 
uh, thanks to the Leech Seed, which is why I used it, because I don't think I have anything else that can hit a uh, level 7 Lucinia without annihilating it. Come on. I think Scissor originally had, like, False Wipe or something, which would have been helpful. But, um... Yeah, that that's not going to do anything if you use it three times in a row. It would have been helpful, but unfortunately, I got rid of it in favor of something else. I forget what exactly it was a very long time ago. Let's see... My computer has not taken kindly to, uh, to like changing my system clock. Uh, antivirus is going haywire, but thank you very much. Puccini has been caught. Uh, I can go and reset the date to what it should be right now. Uh, but first, I need a name. I am way done catching Pokemon in this uh, in this run. I need a name. Give me a name. It's fun to say. What do you want? My Puccini is now my amygdala. Uh, that, of course, being part of the brain that I think governs, like, emotion and stuff like that. So it would be, I don't know, an interesting, uh, name for, like, an Azel or something. But there's a Super Repels. My Dratini is now my amygdala. That's the best I can do, yes. Um, let's see. If this was fall, I could go and finally get that item. But this is not fall, and it won't be for a little while, so I guess I won't. Uh, is there anything in this ranch over here? Summer, autumn, winter, yes, we have to scroll through the seasons again. I don't think there is. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, um, <clears throat> there is more to Route 20, uh, with water on it. Which I guess I'll go and ex examine. I know that there's, like, a waterfall. And I won't be able to access that until the, uh, the after game, but... we we'll just go, uh, surf a little bit with my unnamed brain. Um, let's go and turn on the Thaos machine also. Yeah, I figured there'd be something down here. That is a heart scale. Okay, cool. So if I want to go back to the mover learner, um, I can do that and actually have a heart scale. Let's see. Is there anything else out this way? I don't think there is. Uh, ooh, there is. Uh, yes, let's do that. And there's actually quite a lot of stuff back here, it looks like. Although nothing item-wise. Alright, and I don't feel like running into any random encounters. Um, there's two more items down there where if this was autumn I could go and, uh, like, cross the leaf pile that would be showing up in that, uh, in that pit, but apparently not. Um, Verbank. There's also some surfing that I can do. Let's see. I don't think there's a whole lot that I can access with surf, but I do remember that there is, a, a lower part of town, maybe? Some interesting things. Uh, first I have to, yes. First I have to find the, uh, the, the way to get down there. I'm picking up on an item. Alright, here's stairs. I feel like there's a lot more that I could be exploring in this town. Why can't I surf on that? But yes, I feel like there's a lot more that I could be exploring in this town, like going into houses and talking to people, but not right now. Um, how did I get down there? Oh. Because I know I was down here earlier. I think I have to go... Yeah, here's the staircase. Alright. I can surf over here, apparently. And, um... Let's see. Under the bridge. Yes, I would like to use another. Apparently... That's a pearl, cool. It's just a random pearl washing up on the, uh, on the sidewalk. Alright. I can see that happening, totally. Um... What about more? I know that there's like a garbage can with a thing in it over, I think, this way? Pretty sure. No? It's empty. Oh, there's an item up here. Team 36 Sludge Bomb. Alright, let's see if anyone can learn that. Um, I think maybe Superior can learn Sludge Bomb, but... So where's the TMs and HMs down here at the bottom? Too bad this list doesn't auto-sort like it does in Gen 6. Sludge Bomb. Um... Grib apparently can. Alright, let's do that. I kind of want to keep Snarl, because it does, like, lowering special attack is nice, with the in especially with the Intimidate. Uh, so I can basically use Houndoom as a stat lowering Pokemon. Thief is nice, as I talked about with uh, Gallade, but for, like, sheer power and stuff, let's see. Sludge Bomb, Poison is only super effective on, um, on Grass, and I already have Flamethrower. And the only times... Like, unless I come up against, like, a Ludicolo or something. I'm gonna keep those moves I have right now. Because, uh, if this was Gen 6, I would probably teach it because Sludge Bomb is super effective on fairies and all that, but... Uh, this is not Gen 6. There are no fairy types. And... Alright. Maybe some other day. 
You know what? Can I fight Brawler now without getting flattened? Yeah, sure. I think there's a... I think there might be a, a gym leader guy in Dispersion City too, but I'm not sure. Anyway, Brawl is sending out a Machop. Okay, so you are, like, way under level to me. I should have been coming back here to fight you earlier, but uh, I did not do that. So I'm just going to see what's on your team, I suppose. Because I think this is going to be, like, a total party kill with, uh... Even with Paralyzed Imperial, I should probably do something about that. And they, uh... Scraggy. That's at least blades in the face. Uh, I could be using his actual to train, like, Dratini and stuff. Thanks for that. Because Dratini is only, um... I have the experience journal. Dratini is only, like, level 7? Anyway... You know, I just realized, now that I've named Patini Amygdala, maybe I shouldn't name it Poliwhirl, like, Brain. Because that would kind of be like having two brains, which is a little weird. Okay, I'm going to try to come up with another nickname for Poliwhirl, even though, I don't know. Polyrath just makes me think of Brain for some reason, visually. Uh, let's see. Speaking of Poliwag, Poliwrath, Poliwrath, Poliwhirl. Um, Fire Punch, ooh, that's going to do a lot of damage. All of seven points of HP. All right, well, Surf... Mud shot. I'm just gonna use Surf, I guess. Um, I should probably throw the experience chair on, uh, on Dratini, which I forgot to do, because I was momentarily forgetting that that thing was, like, level 7. Amygdala is level 8. Meditate. Let's do that again, shall we? I'd imagine Amygdala also have almost screwed level 9, because uh, that's a lot of experience for that level level. Oh, no, apparently not. Wow, being in the slow experience really is, uh, like, slow leveling. Um, this also makes me wonder, where can I find the other Hoenn Gym Leaders? We can use Drain Punch. Um, because I didn't remember seeing any Castilia or Nimbus or anything. To be fair, I didn't really run around that much. I ran around Castilia a lot. Maybe I, I, I'll try one of the docks. I don't think I checked all the docks. Alright, well, that's a plan. Gained a little tiny bit of experience to make you level 9. And Brawly has been defeated. Cool. Not the most challenging battle. You'll see me at the World Tournament. Um. Anyway, Castilia Ho. Ooh, look. Speaking of peers, right when I get off. Heart scale, so that's another one. Down here, maybe, by the Royal Unova? Down here, by the sewers? Down here, by whatever this is called? Did I miss someone going to Liberty Garden? Down in one of these alleys? Come to think of it, I don't think I checked the alleys, either. Oh, where did I put those sunglasses? Hi, random dude. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna give me random TM70 flash, which are... I think there are locations that actually make use of flash in this game, but... Or whatever. Still no gym leaders. 